We're getting older now, but we all remember the video games that mean the most to us. From Earthbound to Zelda and everything in between. Join me, Metroid's Prime, as I take you on a journey to show you the video games that changed my life. Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Last week I did a PS3 farewell video and in it I kind of went over some of my favorite PS3 games that have been released so far and that led up to the PS4 launch on Friday. And this week I want to do the same thing with the Xbox 360. The Xbox One comes out this Friday and I wanted to look back at five of my favorite games that have come out for the 360. And like I said last week, I know that there's still going to be games released on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, and by no means am I saying they're dead, but I wanted to just take a look back at some of my favorite games from each system. But let's take a look at some of my favorite games from the Xbox 360. Alright, let's start off with the first one, and that is The Orange Box by Valve. Wow, how much bang for the bug did you get with this game? Not only did you get Half-Life 2 with Episode 1 and Episode 2, you got Team Fortress 2 and Portal, and every game on here was amazing. I remember playing Portal for the first time and just being blown away. And it was just so simple of a game, yet so complex. And I remember laughing so much at, at GLaDOS and the game, and it was just incredible. And this was actually the first time I'd ever played Half-Life 2, and Team Fortress had a lot of good multiplayer action in it. But, you know, the Xbox 360 version was the version to own if you didn't have a PC because it just didn't run quite as well on the PS3. But I had so many great memories of playing this on the Xbox 360. And it really made me fall in love with the game Portal and Half-Life. And, you know, love the sequel to Portal and we're still waiting on that sequel to Half-Life. But great game. Alright, next we have Mass Effect by BioWare. And this is one of the greatest sci-fi RPGs that you will ever play. The Mass Effect trilogy just has an amazing story. And I remember just being immersed in the story from the first one. You know, the second and third one really took the amp the story up. But this first one, I remember it just, it had me hooked right from the beginning. And what's so neat with the Mass Effect series is that the decisions you make, even in this first game, affect the game even through the second and third in the series. And, and it's just really a great game. Definitely check this out if you've never played it before, but, but honestly, it really is one of the best sci-fi RPGs you will ever play. All right, next I have Gears of War by Epic Games. You know, I remember popping in Gears of War, and I really felt like this was the first really next-gen game for the Xbox 360 and just the graphics blew me away back then and it really took a different approach to a shooter at the time it was really cover based action and the multiplayer was great and just it, it was a different angle at a sci-fi shooter at the time and I, I love it to this day and I just have really fond memories of playing this and just being blown away by the graphics. Alright, next I have Halo 3 from Bungie. This was the finale from the first Halo trilogy and a great game. They really introduced a lot of interesting multiplayer aspects to this game and they really tied up the story nicely and I know they're doing another trilogy now. We've already seen Halo 4 on the Xbox but you know this is the trilogy that started it all and you know, they wrapped it up really nice in this, if, you know, that's where you choose to end the story. But I'm a big fan of the Halo series, you know, it really was innovative on the first Xbox and they really, you know, upped their game for this one on the Xbox 360. And adding the Forge where you could create your own multiplayer levels and maps and gameplay styles, it was just really innovative at the time and a really great game for the Xbox 360. All right, last but definitely not least, Bioshock. I remember playing Bioshock for the very first time and just being blown away at the level design, the visuals. I mean, everything about this game is amazing. 
And, you know, it was such a unique first person shooter. It was set in the 20s or 30s, but you're in an underwater city. And I remember just being creeped out by the enemies down there and them being disfigured, hanging on walls and dark corners and all that. And it was just a, a very unique game for the time. And there's not anything out there that's quite like it, but a great game and definitely one of my favorites on the system. Great memories playing this game. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. On Friday, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Xbox One, so definitely tune in for that. And on Sunday, I'll be giving my first impressions of the Xbox One. And guys, in the comment section down below, please let me know what are some of your favorite games for the Xbox 360 and what are some of the memories you have of playing the system. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And as always, we'll see you next time.